Actually, mid lane by Drunken Master. They jump on a Drunken Master. This is a big chance for a crowd. Chrysalis comes out and they do get the kill. And now they're going to push the middle tower as a team. And uh, this tower is going to start dropping pretty quickly. But don't overstay your welcome if you're Region Gaming. Sync Esports coming in. Everybody's here for Region, though. Mid Wars action coming at you right here. He wants to dive. Dampier goes in. Doctor going to be fine, though. No compel used just yet. Here's a counter play on Dampier now. The purge from Monarch. They pull in Valkyrie, though. There's the hell on new with that. Oh, big side big slam. A double tap for Zane. But it's still alive is Drunken Master. Can he do enough with Electrician right here? He's going to chase down. Gets the catch up to Dampier. Dampier dropping. Dampier will fall. Electrician wants more. He's going to end up taking out Valkyrie, it looks like. He will. A compel right there. Electrician does get counter killed, though. So they do get a couple of pickoffs to sync, but beautiful AoE synergy from recent gaming to start that all off. Dan Wraith jumped once again off the bat. Will they have the counter play? There comes the Storm Spirit. Hellflower is up. Behemoth, he's waiting. You know, a port back on his hammer. Doctor's still flying in. He stuns yep. right there, gets a kill on Affiliate. Look at Dr. Pulser flying around left and right. 38 <laughs> charges on that high cut of the goddess. That is ridiculous. Protective Charm comes out. The tower is going to end up falling. Sam Wraith. Can he put it back this time? No, he can't. The outcover of the RJ Vortex comes out. Barrel he goes in, but he also gets caught in that crack. It does pick off Minus in the background. Minus buys back immediately, by the way. He might post his back, and we'll see. However, Dr. Pulsar is still going very strong here, flying around left and right. Pharaoh is in trouble. Sam Wraith, he buys back to the Astro. Pharaoh goes down, though. Kraken doing a lot of work, though. He gets a hat trick in the background. Now, Dr. Pulsar, all of a sudden, he's somewhat by himself, but he's still doing some good damage. Enough okay, damage. Kraken is not going to die. He does have the token still, so he's going to fall, but he's going to come right back up with full life and full mana. Kraken's dead. No buybacks. Is Reason Gaming doing it right here. He picks off more of Sam Wraith. Pops the shrunken head, so again, not much Dr. Midas can do currently. And in fact, Midas is going to get locked down to death once again. But Behemoth, look at him. He's waiting patiently. He has a Resto Stone still. He's going to be going in. Resto Stone, the Fissure Stone. He's not going to shock him because he's out of mana, actually. The Mana Center comes out. He can do it now. No, he cannot. And down goes Behemoth. He should have done it prior to going in. Now Dr. Pulsar is by himself once again. 44 <laughs> charges. On that icon, he wants it. Oh, the man is under! Oh, this is big. He pops the shrunken head. But is Emma Boy really gonna get caught out here? Okay, there we go with the initial. The catch up with the rise of the Pharaoh. Is he gonna end up falling? In comes Jerry Sides, more The hell bomb, the bait's real. Samrath getting jammed. Samrath is gonna fall. Pharaoh's gonna fall. What a bait! A mortal strike for Emma Boy. Double tap to finish it off. Oh my god. What a finish! Behemoth as well. There's a jump in the chair side. They go for the quick burst. Is it going to be enough? No! Protect him out. It comes out. He has a soul plus. He's going to pump it around right off the bat after as soon as he comes out. Shockwave in the background. And Raisin Gaming wipes up Willow Keeper. It's possibly going to be a genocide. Emma Boy with the quad kill. Let's make it an annihilation, he says. A genocide annihilation coming out for Raisin Gaming.